Hey everyone, this is Mark McNamara, and I'm here with one of the stars of The Sword's first mission, Josh Moore. How's it going, Josh? Well, hello. <laughs> it's going great. How are you? I'm fantastic. So after all these years, this is our first time doing a movie together. What I know. when you first read the script for First Mission? Um, well, I first read the script on set about two seconds before we started. <laughs> and I, I think it's such a cool concept. And I mean, the, the what you can do with it and what you can roll with that kind of concept is just amazing. You know, there's obviously going to be, there's loads of movies coming, right? With, with the swords, right? There, there's going to be eight in total. Um, so this awesome. is the third one. You have uh, in the movie you had sex in this this bathhouse, this public space. Do you like having sex in a public space where people can watch? I mean, I've had sex in that exact bathhouse before. So. <laughs> Wait, really? <laughs> yeah. Well, I was so actually Falcon took me and Devon Franco to Paris um, for the Pink Awards. I think it must have been like five or six years ago. And me and Devon were a regular at the saunas. So, <laughs> sure. yeah, it's, um, oh, like I love it. Around. It's fun. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I was like, this, this is where that is. Uh, but yeah, no, I, I kind of, yeah, I love the, I love the saunas. I love, you know, cruising and all stuff like that. It's, I find it really exciting for sure. Now, in the movie, you play a bad guy. Now, you're very good at kid kidnapping. Have you had practice before? <laughs> <laughs> very good at kidnapping um I mean, no i can't when you, say when you grab dean and then you kind of do the same thing to andre it's like you're a professional i know yeah um I, i've had quite a few boyfriends that loved to be you know uh grabbed from behind so i got you know some good practice in there that explains it <laughs> your fight scene was pretty intricate and you had to learn it, you learned it that day on the spot. Is it more difficult as a performer to learn lines and choreography or the sex? What's what's harder? Oh, lines and choreography for sure. Yeah. The sex comes naturally to me. I think, I mean, the reason I got into the business is because I fucking love sex. And it just like it's such a natural thing for me to do. And I have a boner literally 24-7. Um, so the yeah, the 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 choreography was was quite difficult. Um, but I actually that was one of the things I enjoyed the most, like doing that choreography, just kind of executing it, and then kind of after we were all like, fuck yeah, we did it, and it was great. And I got kicked into the pool, and it was just like epic, and I loved it. Um, the lines for me are quite easy because I I generally don't really learn them beforehand. I kind of just learn them as I go on set. And it's not because like I'm lazy or anything. It's just because that's that's kind of how I work and that's how I remember things. I my long term memory is just like absolutely shot. Um and I used to do theater in school. And um yeah, that's kind of how I learned, you know, on the go. So yeah. Well, you nailed it. So your your method works. What is a common you've been in the business for a, quite a while. What is a common misconception about Josh Moore? Um, I don't know. Everyone thinks I'm a bitch. I was going to say everyone. I shouldn't say everyone because I don't know. But going into this, I was like, oh, shit. Like, is he I know him personally, but is he going to be difficult to work with? You're not. You're so professional and you you did everything that was asked and you're so easy breezy. Yeah, like, I, I mean, I think if you asked any kind of director that I've worked with, you'll say like I'm the easiest person to work with because I just, I'm, I I do the job, I do it well. And um, yeah, no complaints for me. I, I mean, I've been on set. I mean, you must know like on different movies where the days have been like 12 hours long and we're just like in the most weirdest remote locations getting like bitten by insects and like absolutely like our backs destroyed by like, getting fucked on sharp rocks in cold the cold sea and stuff like that do you know what I mean but like I'm not a complainer I'll get on with it I will do it and I will you know um I think that's what's good about me but yeah people just I think people a lot of people think I'm a bitch and I think it's probably just my social media presence you know people look at um you know people look at your social media and Instagram and 
think, oh God, he looks like a cunt. And um, I mean, I can be, but no, generally I'm nice and easy. <laughs> okay, so last question. In the movie, Cade and you are developing this truth pill. If you were to give anyone this truth pill and they had to tell you the truth, who would you ask and what would you ask? Oh, well, I'd do the whole world a favor and I would give it to Donald Trump. <laughs> <What about you? laughs> I don't know. Um, everything everyone wants to know, you know? <laughs> like, I would get a list, a list of questions from, you know, everyone who wants to know about his everything. Send his ass. I guess. Send right. his ass to prison. Thank you so much, Josh Moore. You can watch his scenes in First Mission on NakedSword.com, and we will see you soon. Bye, Josh. Yeah, we'll see you soon. Bye.